just broken up. Okay, hang on a sec. Just yeah. we'll just define what imprinting is. So oh, yeah. if something's imprinted on something else, it's like an experience, an emotion, a mental construct, whatever it is, it's somehow overlaid the experience was so whatever that emotional energy has locked it in it's something that's stamped on but embedded slightly it's not just around it's actually permeated into it's imprinted <gasps> okay. good definition and so Thank you. it's okay yes so, well, mama so mama. but yeah imprinting because yeah. you can do that with water you know like you can imprint. Really? Oh, yeah, well, you're all water. Yeah, so, what do you think emotional thing holds and imprints yeah. on your own body? You know, don't trust anyone, don't trust yeah. yourself, don't, you know, you are this, you are that. It's imprinted in your water. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. And when, yeah. You, when you do that sweep, you're literally taking it, well, you're taking it from your fucking water. Mm -hmm. Water's heavy, baby. It's, yeah, it's heavier than Earth, isn't it? The, what was the author Giordano, that you mentioned? Giordano Bruno. <laughs> that dude. He's Just read the immortality key. He says it better than me. <laughs> oh, immortality key. Oh, excellent. But so, yeah, I mean, the idea then of imprinting water is that's what a lot of these radio waves and EMFs are actually doing to you. You know, it's carrying into the water, like it's the sonic into the water. So if you can, from essence, make your will and consciousness the more potent imprint. Anti, don't neutralise them, you know. Let know. Wow. Yeah, I love where this is going. <laughs> love it, right? Very really cool. Right, almost everything, couldn't you? Well, water's in everything. I'm going through all the possibilities. Well, water's in everything, right? Water's in everything, unless it's your dehydrated yes. shrooms. <laughs> but water's in everything, <laughs> um, yes. and so everything then can carry an imprint. I think yeah. too, this is why water is so rare and water is so necessary because it carries a lot of codes and it has memory, if you will. I think I sent it to, I put it on one of my socials that um, they found mushrooms growing on Mars. Really? Well, of course, that's the first signs of life using our fucking water, right? Yeah. But th I found that interesting. Wow, I didn't realise that. Because it's going it's, it's to have water imprinted with what? Moo? Moose codes? How do you grow a planetoid? I, I never even thought about it like that. I never, no, really, I just feel really quite, I never thought about it like that. So this is yeah. why, for example, you can do shit with your bath water. You can do shit with stuff you drink. Mm -hmm. You know, you can imprint a storm. Oops, sorry, did I say that? I'm just... <laughs> sorry, yes. You I'm know, listening. expand it, bitches. <laughs> Be, feel outside the box. You know, one of the things that I love about what you're saying, among many things... <laughs> The potential to truly create is there. You just utilize all these aspects of of, of what's possible. Like you can really like just how how creative do you want to get? No how, limitation. Because this has limitation. It says this is all you can do in this reality. This has been in many realities. It's not bounded by this bullshit. And it says, mm -hmm, I need some cardio. I need to get out and <laughs> stretch my legs. Well, when you, when you start looking at it like that, when you start seeing the possibilities like that and playing with things like that, holy fucking moly. I mean, and often, you, often when we, you know, like when I teach that scrying thing or when I'm talking like, and I say, feel the fire in the water. That's what it's about, baby. 
there's creative principle in everything. And if you can reach the creative principle, the, the catalyst, then it's your bitch. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. So, I mean, what's the creative catalyst behind water? I mean, it's this could be like a bit of a meditative piece because then yeah. you could go into, well, it's fire because fire's already burning. What made it burn? What's the catalyst? So it's almost like the creative principle behind because people forget, oh, I'll create using the elements. Well, yeah, but they're an offshoot. They're an experience. They're how Mu expressed herself. So you need to go further in, the creative principle behind that. Yeah. Fuck, okay, this is like, again, this <laughs> one. I'm just, <laughs> this is great. This is just, uh, it, yeah, this is really, really great. I can feel how it really, on a whole other level, it just, it re there is nothing but consciousness. But there no, is exactly. nothing but that. It's nothing, there's not, everything else is either an offshoot or fuckery. Like it's just fantasy. When, yeah. when you come out of the dark room the first time, and I mean I've only ever been in the dark room for 10 days, so I don't know what it would be like after three days, but I would assume it would be very similar because you've shut down enough for a while. And you come out and everything looks like a sort of 2D overlay, like it's not even a good green screen. It's really odd, like there's no, because your eyes give you perception or they translate perception or whatever. Yeah. They give the thing and then the brain translates, I don't know, fucking wordy, right? But you haven't used them. You haven't used that as sight. You've been using your pineal, mm. right? So yeah. when you first start to use these again, it's like it's got to warm up. The program's got to warm up. And it takes a little while, but then it comes back to normal or this pretend perception that makes it 3D, makes the hologram. You know, but when you first come out, it's literally like you're in 2D land. Holy shit, that would be so trippy coming out of that. <laughs> well, it's been trippy being in there, so it's not much different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I don't even know what I was thinking and expecting. Also, you, you're very shaky. Like you, you can't. You need help walking, and it's not because you've been sitting on your ass. You've been exercising in there. It's more you're not attuned to the time space continuum sort of thing. It's quite odd. I mean, these are the things that you know, like the contrast. You know, you've got to have contrast so you can notice these things. Um, yeah. So I mean, it's almost worth. Getting out of the dark room, not just going in there. <laughs> oh, man, it's closer now. It's closer now. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be the graduation ceremony for the Consciousness Warrior training. Well, what's that? 